everyone, Carol Fitzgerald here. I have really come to love soups. I didn't used to always love them, and I think it was because I didn't have the, a really good flavor in my soups. And years ago in my Chicago days, you know, 40 years ago, uh, a neighbor of mine gave me some chicken soup, and I thought, oh my goodness, what did you put in here, Phyllis? It is absolutely delicious. She said, oh, I just used um, beef broth, or chicken broth, she used chicken broth. This is the Better Than Bouillon, and this happens to be a vegetarian one. Uh, it isn't even open, as you can see, just because I want to show you. This is what not to use. It flavors your soups absolutely fantastically, but if you want to cut down on sodium, you wouldn't want to use this because there are 700 milligrams of sodium in this. So, I have taken to make my own plant-based broth mix and people love my soups and they say, what in the world? I, it's the best soup I've ever had. And it's because I said, you can either use this if you don't have this, but this is so easy to make as well and it flavors your soups amazingly well. So this is what I have in it. Three tablespoons of onion powder already in this little jar. Again, a wide mouth jar. Um, three tablespoons of garlic powder, just, this is the one with the little flakes of parsley in it. I get it at my grocer Publix here in Florida and it doesn't clump together. Another secret about um, onion powder, I heard this once and I thought, oh, I wonder if it'll really work. You know how it clumps up? It's as hard as a rock and you can hardly get to it when, when it's in the cabinet. If you put this in the refrigerator, it stays nice and flaky and soft and everything. It really, really works. That's a tip that works. So onion powder in the refrigerator. And then there's a tablespoon of sea salt, where is it here? And uh, a teaspoon of black pepper. So that goes in the jar. And then there's a te teaspoon of thyme. That goes in the jar. Here we go, little um, jar here. My, my pepper isn't marked. And then we've got paprika, one teaspoon of paprika. And I don't use smoked, I just use the regular pep paprika, sorry. That goes in there. And then we've got one teaspoon of celery seed. That goes in there. And let's see what else, a teaspoon of, um, half teaspoon of parsley flakes in here. And a half teaspoon of turmeric which is really good for you too. I like to get every last bit in there. And then I'm just gonna use a wide mouth funnel again and put the one cup of nutritional yeast in here. And that's how simple it is. Once you get everything all measured, it turns out really, really um, you know, easy to do. Again, shake this up. So you got it all shake, shaken. And then put your little label on here uh, plant-based broth mix and use two to three tablespoons in your big pot of soup and you'll have a deliciously flavored soup. Oh shoot, I forgot the mushroom powder. So this is one more thing that will uh, make the broth mix flavorful, M mushroom powder. I didn't put it in this time because I ran out of it and I ordered it yesterday and it's due today or tomorrow, but I saved the, the envelope that it comes in. So this is really good for you too. Thanks, take care, come back. Like and subscribe.